So I want to do a quick video about um, a new item that I just got. I got some Botter 2-inch uh, narrow bend filters. Now they, they came all the way from TS Optics, which uh, is headquartered, I think, in Germany. It took three days using UPS to get it all the way to Canada. I spent about $650 with the import charges, I think. Canadian, which is a pretty good deal considering what they cost in Canada or the US. Now they come pretty well packaged. You got some bubble wrap, you got like the box is pretty big for for this little package here. So let's get that out of the way and uh, let's see how, what you get. Here are the filters. Um, as you can see, they're bunched up together in these in these two cases. Now this these two cases actually um, Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, they they slide on top of each other. So if you get a sulfur filter after, um, maybe some other ones, you could all pile them up and you get this big box. And um, let me show you what this is. So we got the O3 8.5 nanometer. And we got the H-Alpha 7 nanometer. Really good filters. I've been playing with uh, this one. I borrowed one from a friend. And I've been using them on my uh, D5300 DSLR. Now, before you say you can't use narrow bend on a um, DSLR, uh, actually you can and with excellent results. And I'll be showing you some images afterwards. So the other thing is I'm just going to slide this open quickly and show you uh, how it looks inside. All right, so we have the two filters. We're going to open them up and take a look at how they look so this is the O3 come on that's the O3 filter this is The H alpha. Now, so what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to take my 0.85 reducer for the ED80. This is the flow adapter because I have a GSO um, focuser, and so I can't screw this on anymore as with the stock um, Orion focuser. It has a two inch thread, um, so basically. You could take the filter and the thread isn't that good on this flow adapter because as I, as I was playing with the um, well this is not good anyways let me try one more time before I quit <laughs> My friend's uh, filter screwed on, no problem. So yeah, it's a little rough, but it goes in, right? So you got that attached, right? The camera goes on this end. This side goes into the telescope. And um, you have uh, yourself a narrow band set up for a DSLR. So, um, I'll add a little picture to, to show you how um, DSLR narrowband looks like. So, thank you for watching.